Hey YouTube, Atheist Vape is checking in. Today we have got the Origin RDA. Ooh, hitting so nice. Got the Origin RDA rocking on my Biohazard box mod for my good friend Ben. Got my logo sticker rocking on that thing. Ooh, isn't that a sexy combo? Ooh, I know you want one. And you can get one, because I've got a bunch. And for those of you who don't already know, the first 100 people to purchase a sticker will be added to my VIP giveaway. So you will be exclusive forever put in there as long as my channel exists. You'll never have to enter for these giveaways. So those of you who don't have Facebook or Twitter, no worries. I write down your name, I give you a special code, I enter in all those codes, and then I do my random drawing. So your odds are much better. Only 100 people are ever gonna enter. And don't you wanna support an up and coming channel? I'm donating 100% of the proceeds to CASA to help fight FDA regulations on e-cigs. And to top it off, I've got shirts being made of that logo as well. We've already had eight pledges so far. Uh, I think I've got uh, 18 days left to meet my goal. And to top it off, I had a vendor contact me today, an eJuice vendor from the UK who sent me some stuff for review, who offered to buy all the t-shirts I had left to hit my goal of 30 pledges. I was like, are you serious? You're really gonna do this? I am so, so stoked. So. I have got, my pledges are gonna be met by tomorrow, and obviously you can still buy a shirt because we can exceed the goal of 30, but we just needed to hit 30 to get them made. They are really nice, American apparel, super soft material. I am so, so stoked. So, thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of in shock right now that, uh, that this is actually happening. I, I, you know, I was kind of confused at first. I was like, are, are you serious? You mean you will buy them all? All 22 that are left to go? He said, absolutely, I'll have them paid off by noon tomorrow. I was just like, Okay, yeah, that's amazing. That's that's so cool. So he's gonna be giving those away and he juice giveaways and stuff. Uh, so, I mean, wow, wow. So yeah, lots of good stuff coming up, people. Uh, I'm really, really excited about that. So basically today, uh, the reason I even picked up the Origin was I had a viewer uh, suggest it on my Megma or Paradigm Megma RDA video who basically said, hey, you know, I really like the Megma Mm, excuse me, but the Origin is pretty dope as well, and so I checked it out, and, and I know they have the Origin uh, 2 out now, or V2 or whatever it's called, which is more similar to the Magma in its juice well system, because it is like a single chamber, whereas this, well, I'll show you when we dial it close, but anyway, very similar, but with some key differences, and, you know, they've both got some pluses and some minuses, so, but I was definitely happy with this purchase, uh, I got the, what was it, the uh, Tobacco version, came in a little, little tiny box. Uh, I'll show you that when we dive up close again, but uh, you know, I think it looks really nice. Uh, it fits nice and snug on the 510 contact there. It just looks great. And it fires up fantastic as well. So yeah, really happy with this thing. Matter of fact, let's, let's crank it up a little bit. I don't even have it on full 60 watts. Whoa! <laughs> we'll fire that thing up. Rocking some Lucky Ruckus Toasted Coconut. I threw that in on my late, latest order. I ordered their uh, Vanopoly, which is like a vanilla uh, pie crust mix. Really, really good. But I gotta say, I kinda like this one more. So I've been vaping this quite a bit. It's just a pure coconut and it's, it's spot on. But anyway, so back to the origin. I got it again because it was suggested like, hey, try these, see which one you like better. And I gotta tell you, I've been vaping on this one a little more, and it has to do with this dope drip tip that came with it. And it is a 510 drip tip, but it just doesn't really go on other mods that well. It fits in there super loose, so you technically could put it in there, but 
you know, you'd have your drip tip falling off quite a bit. And then there's some other things about the Paradigm that I like a little more. I do like the screw cap. I don't like messing around with gaskets. But, this one has really nice gaskets. It actually stays on there snug, but actually pulls off easy. So, that's a tough one, you know? Um, when I'm on the go, it's kind of nice to just be able to pull it off and drip. But I do like the fact that this top doesn't come off if I accidentally pull it out of my pocket. You know, sometimes I pull the drip cap off and have a tendency to make a little mess in my pocket. That sounded wrong. Uh, but anyway, so there's definitely some perks to going the other route. Um, but man, this thing hits really, really nice. It does seem, yeah, it is a tighter air draw. I was going to say, it seems like a tighter air draw when I'm vaping and we'll show you the bigger hole there. So I think one's probably 2.8 or 3 millimeter and the other one's what, 2.5 or something. So there is a slight difference. They both have adjustable airflow. I do like the adjustable airflow on this a little better because it's just the whole cap that you spin versus this little ring, which this ring has a tendency to move around, you know, when you unscrew it and then you gotta readjust it every time. Whereas this, you just line up the holes and, and plop it down. So there's definitely some advantages to going the origin route and you know I'd really I, I wish I had looked uh, a, a little better before I bought this because again they have the the version 2 now which is more similar to the Magma in its in it, the way it's set up because inside here are some really nice really deep juice wells uh, which is very similar to this setup except they're uh, separate from each other so on each side is a separate little juice well Whereas the version 2 of the Origin, they're one. So you've got both sides, but they connect just like this one. Again, I do love like the drip tip that came with it. I love this giant Y-board drip tip. I don't know why, but I feel like I get a little bit less juice buildup this route. It's just a really, really nice dripper. I dig it. So far, I mean... Basically, I've had no real complaints with this thing other than building it. And it's not that it was really hard. At first, I did vertical coils, and then I did horizontal coils the second time. It had to do with getting the wick in there. It was just kind of easier to wick, to re-wick this way. When I did the vertical coils, I had to, you know, really work hard to get the wick in and out. And so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to make it easier on myself because I like to change out my wick every day. And I went this route, but as you can see, they're not like perfectly lined up or anything. I mean, they do fire perfect and everything, but it was a little bit of a pain to build. And so I'm not going to rebuild it for you, but I will show you everything when we dial up close. Um, but you know, I was really, really happy with this purchase. It's, you know, really thick walls. It doesn't feel cheap. You know, it feels like a quality clone. And you know, I've kind of been let down by tobacco, kind of half and half. But this is a case where I was very, very happy with this purchase. And yeah, I mean, I've definitely, definitely been vaping on this more than the Paradigm since I got it. But I think that has more to do with this drip tip, to be honest with you. I just really like the way it feels. I really like this giant wide bore drip tip. And it just, I don't know, it just looks cool. So yeah, really been digging it. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it until we dial up close other than you really should get this thing. I mean, you know, go ahead and pause this and buy it right now. We're going to choking here in a minute. All right, let's dial up close. And here's our up close and personal with the Origin clone from Tobacco. It came in this little box here. You can see that. Psh. Nothing too fancy, but it did come with, you know, a uh, screwdriver, extra gaskets, pre-built wake and wire. Um, it did come with the tool you need for adjusting your negative uh, hookups there, which is like a, oh gosh, I can't remember, Allen wrench or something like that. Um, and then you've got this gnarled positive post that is just, you just tighten it, uh, finger tight, but I actually pull out a wrench and, and tighten it down a little more, or uh, yeah or uh, some vice grips or whatever, Ply pliers, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for, um, to tighten it down nice and snug. As you can see, not the coolest build on the planet, and if you're asking yourselves why the heck did you do it like that, it really just had to do with wicking the thing. I did have them vertical, and it was really nice, little tight in there, and looked real good. This looks kind of goofy, but you know what, it works really well, and I'm getting fantastic vapor production, so not my fanciest build on the planet, but you know, I'll live with it. 
It's got these really, really nice deep uh, juice wells in there, but they are separated. So it's two independent juice wells inside there, um, which, you know, isn't the end of the world. We've got a brass center pin, and this is actually this post inside here, uh, not this part, but inside is brass as well. So your positive contact post is a brass post. So I wanted to show you kind of a side-by-side -side comparison just to give you an idea of the origin versus the uh, uh, magma. So as you can see, the magma has quite a bit more uh, juice space in there. Um, and I do like that they both are connected. I do like how easy these posts are to use versus this was a pretty difficult build, I'm not going to lie. Um, just to get them kind of lined up like that uh, and to work well for me was a bit of a pain. But the thing does hit fantastic. Um, it's a 22 millimeter uh, RDA, so it's going to fit most of your mods just fine. Um, you know, And it snugs up really nice with the box mod. This one did come with a drip tip. Um, the one on Fast Tech does not. Uh, I really like this really wide bore drip tip. And it does funnel down at the bottom there. So it's made for dripping into, Oops, bouncing around, bouncing around. So that was that was a selling point for me, the fact that it came with a cool drip tip. And then you've got your adjustable airflow. And so on the uh, shield itself, you've got your different options all the way down to the wee little holes. And you can do single coil builds on this too. It does have that option. So yeah, got got options there. And the gaskets, you know, are real nice. Here's your outer shield. For adjusting your airflow and you know I just put them on the biggest holes and leave it open which is right right there Boom. and so you know I'm not a huge fan of the gaskets um, I do like that the uh, magma has the screw cap on top but these are actually really easy to work with and you know I don't have to like torque it apart to uh, to pull it apart so and it's not so loose that it just comes off so definitely some perks uh, to this system uh, the Tobacco one specifically I can't speak for the uh, fast tech version but overall you know even with the gaskets it's been fine so I've had no real complaints um, and let's see yeah I still though, I would say of the two, I mean, as you can see, there are definite perks to going this route versus this route. So your room to work is a lot better. You got a lot more space. I like the airflow coming directly underneath. And it's honestly, it's a little more airflow too. So, and it's definitely an easier build. I'm not a huge fan of these type of posts just because you can never get it tight enough with your fingers. You're always gonna need another tool. Whereas this one, you know, you just screw those down with a screwdriver and you're good to go. So, I'd be curious though to check out the Origin 2 to compare next to the Magma. So maybe I'll, I'll do that next time. But anyway, that's our side-by-side -side comparison. Let's get back to the review. Creating clouds, creating clouds. Might be rain soon. That was our up close and personal with the Origin from Tobacco. One of the better RDA clones I've come across. Uh, decent airflow, but a little tighter draw. So, like my good friend Ben was saying, he gets kind of a tight draw from this one, which to me, this is about the perfect amount of airflow. It is a little tighter draw going this route. Um, some of the things I like with the Paradigm over the Origin, I like that the airflow goes underneath the coil. I think that's a really cool feature. But it does have a tendency to get a little more juicy. Uh, I did mention that this is probably you know the better route to go if you're a dripper and you don't want to end up with juice in your pocket because it seals up real nice but if you do happen to flood it you will get juice coming out of these holes just because where the airflow comes out underneath the coil is pretty much level with uh, the top of your your juice well system in here so if you do you know overfill a little bit it's gonna spill in here whereas with this setup there's a little bit of a lip here to kind of catch your excess juice that you would pour down in there so it's not as you know not as big of an issue but I have noticed this one does get a little more juicy overall as far as like after you vape for a while it kind of builds up a little more I don't know if it's just the the design of the dome or what that allows this to drip back uh, onto the wick a little better 
because um, I've noticed some RDAs, like after I vape for, you know, 20 minutes, it's just like juice all over. So the next, you know, hit I take, it's like I'm drinking the stuff. So I have, uh, I have been enjoying the fact that, you know, I haven't had that happen in a while. Um, now that I've got these two drippers though, it's really hard to go back to the other ones because they just don't meet the the standards that these are are putting out. So if you are going to go in art if you are going to get involved with RDAs, as far as builds go, this is going to be way way easier. The posts are super super easy to use in here. They're really nice and wide holes so you can use thick gauge wire. This is going to be a little more of a hassle to wrap and to get set up with the way it's designed. I'm sure there are people out there that have done better setups than me with their coils in here and so they've had less trouble, but for me personally, this was definitely a more difficult build. It was like super easy the first time and then the second time I just had some issues and uh, that's actually why I'm, I'm not, you know, why I didn't film building it because I didn't want to be cursing on film because I actually really do like this thing. Uh, I didn't want you to have the impression that I hated it or something, um, but it is a little more of a frustrating build. So, you know, I had to put aside a little more time to build on it, whereas this, I mean, I could, you know, pull the coils out and put them back in in less than five minutes. So, I still think if you were going to get just one dripper and you just had the budget for only one, and it came down to the Origin or the Paradigm Magma, I would go with the Paradigm Magma. I still give this two thumbs up, though, and I would still pick this up. If you had the option to get both, I would get both. But maybe check out the Origin, uh, the version 2, because I do like that the juice well is kind of connected now, so you can just pour directly in the middle, whereas, you know, you got to fill up one side, then the other side, not that big of a deal. I mean, not the end of the world, obviously, but it is an extra step. Um, I do kind of like the look of the Magma better. I think it's got kind of more of that industrial look, kind of new age industrial, whereas this is kind of more of a basic dripper look. Which still, it's really nice. I'd like the, uh, you know, the polished stainless with the uh, the brush stainless. But I don't know. I just there's something special about this one that it just just a little nicer for me. So yeah, I give this one two thumbs up again. But I definitely, definitely would pick the Magma over the Origin. So really appreciate my viewer that uh, that said, hey, you know, you should try out the Origin because it's it's pretty solid too. Totally agree, man great great dripper and very very happy with the purchase and again I've been using this thing pretty much non-stop since I got it but that has more to do with this bad boy so I think you know the magma doesn't come with the drip tip and the one I have on here isn't anything special it's just you know basic uh, dripper drip tip that I bought off eBay which at the time I liked it it was you know better than any drip tip I had but now that I've had these kind of wide bore ones I want to get more so I'm definitely going to upgrade the drip tip on the uh, Magma. I tried to steal it off this one and just throw it on that one, but again, I'll show you. Oop, it fits perfect on here. It's nice and tight, actually. But when I throw it on this bad boy, it's really, really loose. I mean, it sits in there, but I don't know. I just feel like it would fall out if I was on the go. So definitely, definitely something to uh, invest in in the future, a new drip tip fire this thing up again because I just love it. Oops. Oh, toasted coconut. So good. All right. Well, that's my review for this bad boy. Uh, again, want to let you all know you can still pick up stickers like I mentioned earlier. Uh, they're $1.50. You can send me a self-addressed stamped envelope or you can pay me via PayPal. If you do PayPal, please include one extra dollar on your order. So if you order five stickers, throw in one extra dollar. If you order one sticker, throw in one extra dollar. It covers the PayPal fees and it covers shipping, which is just a stamp. So, um, But I, I totally am cool with you sending me $1.50 in the mail with a self-addressed stamped envelope. Totally fine. 100% of the proceeds are going to Casa. I'm hoping to raise $100 via sticker sales if you know if it's possible um, I've probably pre-sold 10 or 15 of them so far uh, and those of you who have ordered and paid and if I had your shipping info I got them in the mail so they should be on the way um, and anyone else who wants to continue ordering I've got plenty so I've had a lot of people ask do you still have them for sale absolutely yeah I still have a ton for sale so don't fret um, and then with the t-shirts we are gonna meet our goal of 30 tomorrow So if you do want one, but you were worried about maybe you know We wouldn't reach the goal of 30 and you wouldn't actually get it 
don't fret because a vendor is purchasing 22 of these tomorrow <laughs> of my t-shirt and so you will definitely get yours if you want to buy one uh, those are $15 plus shipping so it is a little bit of an extra expense but again 100% of the proceeds are going to Kasa and they are quality shirts people so I don't know I like it I think it's gonna be dope and I love American Apparel's material it is some of the softest like jersey tees you will ever feel so Highly, highly suggest jumping on that just because, you know, you're supporting me, you're supporting Kasa, supporting the community in general. So, and if we do that, I can make more, you know? So, yeah, uh, I've got my 800 subscriber giveaway coming tomorrow. So, uh, we're going to be giving away five 10 mil bottles of Herbal Tides e-juice. Really, really good stuff. And I've got my 900 subscriber giveaway because we've hit 900 now, kind of back to back, uh, which I'll announce after the Herbal Tides giveaway, but I'll tell you what's going on anyway. Essentially, Hayes Juice is going to let you, good people, pick out one of his flavors. I believe he has four or five right now, and you will get a 125 mil bottle of e-juice, your Nick strength, your flavor, and then I'm going to throw in a uh, David, uh, basically like a Pro Tank 2 setup, but very similar, uh, but I've been told these are a little nicer. Brand new, but I am going to review it before I give it away, so it'll be lightly used. Um, so I'm going to throw that together as my uh, my 900 subscriber giveaway. Uh, and then if all goes to plan and, and Ben gets this box mod set up, I'm going to be buying one of these for one of you when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So that's the goal. Um, if Ben doesn't have it done by then, which again, he's you know he's a busy man. He's got kids. He's got job, blah, blah, blah. This isn't what he does for a living. If he doesn't hit that in time, we'll just set a new milestone. But regardless, I am going to be giving away a 60 watt OKR T10 box mod, codename Biohazard, and I'm going to throw in a Cartel Still Air uh, RDA clone on top of it. So you will have to get your own batteries, but I'd say that's a pretty dope setup, people. If you've seen like the Duke box mod, very, very similar setup. So essentially that's like, you know, $140, $150 value plus the RDA. So really, really awesome stuff. Really appreciate Ben even working on that for me. Um, so, and heck, you can get a sticker and throw it on there just like me. <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. I love it. And whew, I'm also doing a giveaway for Facebook only, so you don't have to technically be a subscriber to enter. Or maybe you do. Yeah, no, I'm going to make you be a subscriber, of course, uh, where I'm giving away a ProTank 2 I think it was two 15 ml bottles of e-juice. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, I've got another giveaway too for hitting 700 likes on my Facebook. So go check that out and enter for that as well. So all kinds of stuff to give away, people. Uh, I appreciate all of you who have entered my contest. We've had good turnouts, you know, 100 or more people each time. So really cool stuff. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like my videos. Peace and love, YouTube. I'm out.